Hello, my name is Mr. Van Leeshout. I'm a technology engineering teacher here at Southwest High School in Green Bay. This year has been a very exciting year. We've added a number of new programs to our uh, engineering department here, one of them being welding, um, and that's the course I teach. Mr. Freudy, our other engineering teacher, is teaching blueprint reading. And uh, next year we're looking to add metal fab and automation. Uh, the neat thing about the courses that we're adding is they're not just high school courses. It's a partnership with NWTC. It's kind of neat teaching the class because the kids approach it differently when they realize they're doing it for a college credit. They take it a lot more seriously and they have a lot more career decisions involved in the process as they're going through the class. So they ask more questions, they're more engaged, and they just seem to be taking more from the class when they leave. I have something that would help me pay through college if I was going to have something like a job or something. And I thought this would be a really well-paying job because it's uh, such a big demand for it. And uh, since I took the class, I thought it's a lot more interesting. When the opportunity came up for me to take this class, I was just really excited because it gave me a chance to not only know how to weld and a really, it's a growing workforce, but also I had the freedom to do whatever I wanted and it gave me an opportunity to grow artistically as well. In the beginning of the year, I started collecting things that Mr. Van didn't need, so I took drill bits like this, and throughout the course of the year, I collected a bunch of different, just scrap, and I've been just making it into different things. I made like a buffalo and all this other stuff. So this is kind of like my last thing that I can do, so I did a tree, and so it's gonna be bigger and awesome. Basically, I thought welding would be an interesting hobby, and I don't know, I just kind of got into it a lot and now I'm kind of going into it through school afterwards to NWTC and using it to help pay through school and stuff, um, doing a little bit of welding and then chemical engineering along with it and a lot of people are doing stuff with just like solid metals but I thought chain would be fun so I decided to just start making stuff out of chain. Basically I took a wooden frame and I built it to the size and then I wrapped chain around it for the main square so that it was perfect and welded the underbelly so that you wouldn't see it from top and then I made a brace for the legs so that all the legs were the same shape and just built more reinforcement squares underneath of it. And then I'm gonna take the plasma cutter and cut out some gears of different sizes and put them on the inside underneath the glass to kind of make it look like the inside of a machine or something. They're coming in here to get a jump start on their higher education, whether it's uh, NWTC through the tech school or whether they're going on to college at MSOE or Stout or Platteville or Madison to pursue an engineering degree. The reason that we brought in the NWTC partnership with Blueprint Reading 1 and 2 is pretty much the entire manufacturing and construction industry is required to read blueprints. Um, students need to know how to read a blueprint in just about any technology related field and this is an excellent class to teach them how to do that um, because it goes through pretty much all the aspects of what's on a drawing. Next year one of the more exciting programs we're adding is the robotics program. We'll be adding an introduction to robotics which will help teach kids the basics of automation, um, programming, and then also basic robotic construction. Immediately this spring, the business department will be teaching a one credit intro to Mac that will get kids here at Southwest uh, familiar with the Macintosh platform. Then starting next fall, I'll be teaching a class titled uh, Mac Digital Imaging and Editing, and that will allow me and to work with the students to help them get comfortable in the Photoshop environment. And then next spring, I'll be teaching a class called Mac Illustration that uses Adobe Illustrator. These opportunities will allow students to both get dual credit between Southwest High School and NWTC and also be able to um, build the skills to study design at the post-secondary level. The credits uh, focus on the skills necessary to succeed in career areas, uh, whether it's advertising or the printing industry, which you know are quite expansive in the Fox Valley area. So it's a great opportunity for students and I'm very excited to be part of it. If you're interested in any of the NWTC partnership programs that are in this video, please feel free to contact Southwest High School to set up a tour.